What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, today, man, we got another day in the books. It was a wild one, man. They started off with a gap up, only the gap down, close the gap, make a cup and handle, guys, and then everything just came full circle today. We basically went nowhere. But with that being said, it created opportunity. Matter of fact, an opportunity that I want you guys to consider taking advantage of if you see this on tomorrow okay so listen guys i'm going to go ahead and pull out the charts i'm going to i illustrate the levels for you so that you can kind of see what i'm looking at all right and from there and this is all based off of reacting on if we even get this set up for tomorrow okay because we got the pce report that comes out that can throw this completely off okay and so if the market crashes tomorrow throw this plan out the window. But if it don't, get ready to make some money with your boy, okay? Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, check it out. I have the 30 minute chart pulled up here on the SPY. As you can see, the SPY closed at $400.66 today. That is good maintaining that level. I keep telling you guys in the Discord about levels that we need to hold and maintain and what they will allow us to do if we able to hold them. But I also try to share with you guys where we would fall to if we are to lose those levels, okay? But with that being said, check this out, guys. I have it mapped out here on the 30 minute chart, just so you guys can see a little bit of a bigger picture of what I want you to be looking at, all right? So right now you have a double bottom on the SPY forming, or it is it has formed, okay? And it is sitting at a level that if we can break above this, guys, our next level of resistance will be that 200 day moving average that is sitting at 405.10. OK, but in that the reason why that's significant, because the 405 level is the lower end of a gap fill. And if we get to that, it may open the door for us to fill that full first gap at 407. OK, that's the first thing I want you guys to look for and load up on if you see us clear like 401, 402 on tomorrow. The next thing, guys, if you kind of know, OK, once we close the gap, what happens if they don't bring us back down? Because now if we get above 405, that level that is now resistance will turn into support and we could potentially bounce off of that level and then guys close this second gap i got it written as gap number two and that has us sitting at 408 okay and that's to the 409 level now check it out guys if we can pull that off to close out the week that will make a phenomenal close to a shortened four-day week okay that is what i'm anticipating but more importantly i want to teach you guys how you need to go into the day kind of projecting, forecasting, and having a plan. If this, then that, okay? So for example, I know tomorrow there's some major news that's gonna come out. Wall Street is gonna manipulate the stock market and they may very well crash the market on tomorrow, okay? Before all I know, we might be sitting at 397, 395, okay? But if they don't, I'm already coming into the game saying, you know what? my bull case okay meaning my move to the upside i'm looking for us to clear 401 if we can get above 401 and finally break through hopefully we can run to 405 to begin to close that gap if we can close that gap that takes us to 407 to for a fully gap close and then that opens the door for that 408, 409 gap fill. That will be a perfect way to end the week. That'll bring us full circle from where we ended off last Friday. Okay. And then now we will end up right back there again. Now, listen, in the grand scheme of things, guys, we're going literally nowhere. Okay. We're just going from one supply zone to a demand zone. Okay. And we're just plan within that range however there is money to be made especially if you devise a plan and have a strategy for how you want to make money within that range okay so the range has been 408 all the way down to 397 9 10 11 dollars per se give or take that's been the range and if you understand that and you know the lower end 397 is support 
and then you can use the resistance level of the 405 we got 407 408 and 409 as resistance you guys can make a lot of money within that range okay so that is something i want you guys to be on the lookout for more importantly load up if you see this tomorrow of course guys i'll give more spot on to the t advice when the market opens and when the news come out because i'll be in the discord kind of guiding you guys on listen okay we see where pce puts us at we see where the market is sitting once this news come out okay from here we're going here or from here we got to get to here so you guys will have a clear plan everything comes down to execution okay i just wanted to put that on you guys and make sure that you are ready to go with a play in hand for tomorrow if you see this setup present itself okay if you see the stock pull back and starts to go down you look at today's previous low okay meaning like 397 390 if you see that we're just going back to that level again that's how you play it to the downside but i'm talking about to the upside helping you guys make a killing because that should be a double up we should hit a home run tomorrow if we go to 405 and then don't let us get to 407 408 i would love to see it okay with that being said guys let me go ahead and break out a few plays for you on today okay guys i'm kicking off with the spy as you can see this pretty much made a cup and handle okay and now we are waiting for tomorrow to kind of see what our next move looks like i've already shared with you guys what i believe I already shared with you guys what I'm anticipating to happen if we go to the upside. Now, remember, I talk about the importance of not front running. I talk about the importance of making sure that you are being patient, that you're being disciplined and that you're following a game plan, a trading plan. OK, so although I have this plan in place well in advance before it happened, I had to wait two or three days for this play to come because Again, we gap down Tuesday. We've been going down ever since. And so now we're about to come back full circle, hopefully. If it don't happen Friday, it may just happen on Monday though. We might hit 405 on tomorrow, and then they might let us gap up to 407, 408 on Monday. That is also a way, a strategic way it can be played, okay? This next one, guys, is Tesla. Tesla also was able to recapture that $200 level. It was up half a percent on the day. It closed at $200.65. That's the kind of stuff I wanna see. And with that being said, guys, again, we had the lows tested on the day, but again, it was able to pull itself up from the depths, get back up to at least that level where we can still stay above water and continue to possibly go higher. I'm still looking for 208 on Tesla because 208 gets us back to 213, okay? Mark these down so that you guys can know kind of how the stock will move to the upside if we can kind of pull ourselves out of this downward trend, okay? 208 is what I'm looking for. 208 opens the door for 213, okay? Mark that down so that you guys can kind of know the range that you should be looking to play. But at first it has to clear and break through these levels, okay? And guys, check this out. Apple, 148.98 at the time of this, okay? Um, it was up today slightly, not too much to write home about, but just like the SPY, just like Tesla, this too was a cup and handle, okay? This too started off the day up at $50, $50.30, came all the way down to 47 147 and then again, traded sideways before eventually coming right back to that same level, that 149 ish it couldn't quite get to 150 that is heavy heavy resistance so you need to know that if you're playing apple you either if you get on the low end phenomenal job you taking profit at the 149 150 level okay until it breaks through just like the spy though if this can get above 149 tomorrow and go to 150 50 okay it needs to get to 150 dollars and 50 cent if it can get to and through that level we can close the gap on this one at 152. Again, guys, these are possible high probability setups that if you can take advantage of them, again, you can begin to change your life, guys. These is how you hit these home runs. You have to start seeing the game and you have to start seeing these plays develop before they happen. 
We can't time the market. We don't front run the market. But what you can do is after you study the charts, after you have time in the seat, you can begin to say, you know what? I'm seeing these things developing. Chris went out and looked at the 30 minute chart so he can get a bigger snapshot view of where we may can go versus the little one minute chart, two minute charts is not showing you the big enough picture, okay? Use these things to your advantage and let's make some money tomorrow. Listen guys, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result, very few consider the journey. So do me a favor, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.